Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, we're going to be doing a video for my Black Friday haul. I made four orders this Black Friday, and the first one I'm going to start with is from Revel Nail. If you don't know who Revel Nail is, I have mentioned them before in my video. Um, I talked about them when I did a dip nail at home tutorial. They're basically an online company that sell sells dip nail products, and if you don't know what dip nail is, you can make it with the program. I mean, I feel like it's been around for a little bit now, but basically it's a new-ish alternative to acrylic and gel nails. The first product I got from them was actually a free product. Uh, during the month of December, they had that if you placed an order on, not December, oh my God. During November, they had a thing that if you placed an order on Black Friday, you got a free color. So I got this one. It's a very like pearlized silver shade. Just spilled some trying to show y'all. I'm really happy this was my free color. The next color I got is Havana, which is actually the nail color I'm wearing now. It's just a really pretty like nude shade and this is going to be a perfect example because you'll be able to see that the color in the jar is usually a bit lighter than the actual nail shade. So as much as I am showing you the powders, um, if you don't actually like look at the photos online and examples, you won't know exactly the shade. But basically the rule of thumb is what you see in the jar, it's going to be a little darker than that. I love this shade. I feel like this is going to, I think it came out during summer, but this is going to be one of my favorite colors. It's such a pretty nude it's like the perfect blush tone i don't know riley was like i feel like that's your favorite color in the whole world <laughs> another color i got from them is in the shade pina colada it's very similar to havana but a little lighter so this one is havana and this one is pina colada i got this one because it's not white it's like the perfect shade of cream the last shade i got is in the color passion and don't worry guys, as always, I'm going to list all of these down below. This is Passion. This one is supposed to be more like a deeper red shade. Online, it actually looks a lot more like an oxblood color. So like I said a second ago, um, they do always come out darker than they look in the powder. But I'm not going to lie, this powder looks a little lighter than oxblood, so I'm kind of nervous. But it should work out fine. And just wanted to also mention that this is the size of the one ounce and then this is the half ounce. If you do want to start getting into that, I'm going to link my video down below on uh, my dip nail at home video. Fun fact, it's actually been my top, like by far top watched video. So I'm kind of like, man, should I do more nail videos? Um, I probably will do another one soon though, because in that video, I do some things that I do differently or I don't do at all. So um, I will be hopefully soon providing an updated version and it might, might be a French manicure one. So quickly, not as fun, but I did also get these three liquids. I got another finishing gel, which is basically the top coat. I got a refill of the activator, which actually one of the things I really love is that they provide these bigger bottles because all of these come in, I believe they're half ounce bottles and these are two ounces. So instead of having to buy the jar again or the, you know, the bottle again, you can actually just buy one of these jumbo ones and just keep refilling it, which I really like. So that's why I got this one. It's the activator. This is what helps to harden the powder. And the last thing I got is this gel thinner. Now this is the only one that only comes in the two ounce size, um, but it's actually better that way because you don't really need this to be in the other bottle. You kind of need this to be in the drip bottle because this is what you put in your top coat or base coat when they start to get a little thick. So if you plan on getting a kit or getting um, dip nails or you know anything, even if you use another brand, I recommend getting this for sure. It'll save you a lot of money and a lot of time. My first makeup order is actually my smallest. It's this one from LA Girl. And honestly, right away when I saw that they were doing something for Black Friday, or was it Cyber Monday? But I knew what I wanted to get. 
I have been dying to try these shockwave liners and what they did was not only did they have I think it was like 20% off or something but they were also giving you a free color of the liner and you could pick the color so naturally I bought all of them I got all the different eye colors and then I picked this one out for free the only eye color I didn't get was black but honestly like I have a black liner I like and you know I was like Hmm, that's kind of basic. I'm gonna just get the fun colors. But apart from these, they did also come out with the lip ones. I didn't get the lip ones because they're in very bright colors, and as you guys know and can tell, I wear more nudes. Nudes, baby, send me nudes. So the first shade is Fresh. It's kind of like this tealish, not even teal, almost like a sea foam color. I have to say, I mean, I I passed it over three times. I don't even think I needed to. I honestly, with the first one, it was it already had so much color. The second one is in the shade Vivid. That one needed me to go over it a little bit more, but it's still super pigmented as you can tell, and they're super, super crazy creamy. The next one is Screamin'. It's this super bright yellow shade. And don't worry guys, I'm gonna show you a close-up of all of these. This is electric, which is literally just this very vibrant blue. It's like a sky blue. And last is Gotcha. But as you can see, they're super pigmented. They're so bright. I mean, even the way they show up on camera is just so bright and pretty. So I love these, I think y'all would love these, and um, I highly recommend them so far. I haven't even used them in my waterline, but judging by the creaminess and butteriness, I love that. And I love these colors because it could just add such a really pretty pop to any eye look and really take it to like the next level. Look how adorable. Like, can someone just give me like this? Like, just like that. My next one is from Colourpop. I got a... Is it really messed up to just say a crap load? I feel like that's a little vulgar. But I got a crap load of lipsticks, honestly. And then they always send these cute little notes. Thank you. Uh, the only super shady thing though was that this package got to my house basically empty. It was like this, like just like popped open. And there was a piece of blue, I don't know if this is from a glove or what, but that was there. So super shady, don't know what happened. Riley said that sometimes they pick random packages to check them and go through them. So I don't know if that was my package, but if it was, USPS should have put a note or something because that is shady. He was like, don't touch anything. I don't know if they put like poison in there. So this is what I got from Colourpop. The first two things I got are these ultra glossy lips. These are the first glosses that I've tried from them and I got Snow Day and On Board. And I love the brush head. It's literally a brush. I love that. Glosses should always have brushes. Like, why don't people get this? It's not a liquid lipstick. Can't put the same brush, y'all. Those are them in the tube, and don't be deceived, they don't have that color. They're actually very sheer, which is what I like. This one is Snow Day. It's got more of like a rosy tone, and I mean, look at that shine. It's so pretty. And then this one is On Board, so it's a little more of like a bronzy tone. It actually reminds me a lot of um, Gloss Bomb from Fenty. The next two things I got are two ultra matte lips in Snowflake and Starcrossed. So Starcrossed is kind of like this berry red, which holy crap, guys. I am so happy I got this color. I literally debated getting this color. So happy. Listen to Inner Fab, y'all. She never leads you wrong. She never leads you wrong. And then I got snowflake which is kind of a reddish one too but the other one is like berry red and this one's more of like a orangey red i'm stepping outside the box guys it's, they're not nudes they're not nudes i'm just so proud they're not nudes but just wait for the lipstick just wait just wait the next things i got were four lipsticks 
I broke my roll again. That's why they all have different packaging. I usually never buy things that are limited edition. I just don't like it. In a year or so, they could be gone. And then I have this favorite bomb lipstick that I can't wear anymore. But these colors were just so perfect that I needed them. Number one is still crazy, and I believe this is the only one that's not limited edition. So they come in these gorgeous rose gold tubes. Feels like super heavy duty, I like that. It's got like weight to it. And this is in the shade Still Crazy. It looks like a kind of mauve rosy shade. So that's Still Crazy. It's just a very pretty like rosy mauve shade, just exactly that, very girly very just like every day you could wear with like a pretty neutral eye the next one is from the collection with karush karush karushe i don't know guys i'm sorry i'm not i'm not with the times i don't know who this is but her packaging is cute and it's called butter and it is a cream so it's just really really pretty nude they're all nudes guys by the way they're all nudes that's butter it's just a very pretty light pink nude the next one is with the collaboration with kathleen light i'm not into zodiac guys don't believe in that just not a fan um so honestly that was a big reason why i was debating not to get this lipstick but the color was so pretty and it's called what's your sign and it's with kathleen light i know who that is she is a fellow floridian oh my god okay this one might be my favorite so far so that's what's your sign it's just i don't even know it's like such a perfect nude it's really hard to find nudes for my skin tone because they're either made for skin tones a little darker than me or a little lighter than me so it's hard to find nudes that are just just in that that perfect little nook and I think this is it. This is what's your sign. It's a little bit almost of like a brownie, corally nude, but I love it. I cannot wait to wear this color. And then the last one is with their collaboration with Shayla. I mean, I, I don't know who this Shayla person is. Y'all are gonna like burn me at the stake. And this one is called Quickie, another nude. Mm -hmm surprise surprise it's literally the exact same tone oh my god literally it is literally the exact same tone just lighter i like it though it's like a light coral it actually reminds me of a lipstick that lime crime had that they discontinued so i really like that yay we got to my last order bh mm, i love bh bh was one of the very first uh, makeup companies that i tried because they were one of the first like really affordable ones um, it was like before Morphe, all that jazz, BH was there. And so I'm super excited. I got quite a bit of stuff from them. This is the box that took forever to get here. It was a week late, BH. Y'all need to stop using FedEx. The first thing I got is this angled brush holder in this marble pattern. I'm not gonna lie guys, I already opened this one. This is, if it makes you feel better, it's the only thing that I opened from this order, but I love it. Oh my God, it's so precious guys. I know that it's so trendy right now. And honestly, I try to stay away from the trends, but I love marble, things that are marble. It's super cute. It says BH Cosmetics. Um, I did only get one because although it's a brush holder, it's actually too small to hold my brushes. So I got it as like a pen holder. I'm going to put it on my desk uh, for my office and I just love it. It's so precious. It was on sale. It was like $3.90 I think. So love this. So stinking cute. It feels super sturdy. It's like this faux leather, but I love this. The next thing I got is their Studio Pro Brush 3 Small Contour Brush. So this is the number three small contour brush. I actually got it because it reminded me a lot of one that I used for Morphe for contouring, which I actually use today. And I saw that BH had something similar, except it's duo fiber. So I really want to try this not only with powder, but I feel like this could be super bomb with cream contouring. The next thing I got from them is their Naturally Flawless Foundation. I used to buy the BH foundation. It's actually what I had in my kit because they had great coverage, honestly, and it was like $4. 
So I saw they came out with this one probably a while ago. I'm super late to the game. But I was like, you know what? I'm finally going to try it. So I got it in the shade Golden Toffee 219. Comes in this really pretty glass frosted bottle, which I like. And funny enough, although their foundations are so affordable, they oh they never come in like a chintzy package. They always come in like a legit package. So that's Golden Toffee. It looks a little light on my hands, but this actually is my tone. It's a smidge, just a smidge of warm. So I'll have to see how that looks like on my skin, but I mean, it has amazing coverage. I'm like spreading it around and spreading it isn't thinning it and making it more sheer at all. Like it still has phenomenal coverage. That was one of the things, that one and one other product were the ones that I was like a little skeptical about just because I don't see it a lot here on YouTube or on Instagram. And you know, that doesn't always mean that it's not a good product, but sometimes it could mean that. So I was really nervous and I'm not going to lie, that foundation feels bomb so far. I cannot wait to try it. The next one I got, which was the other product I was a little nervous about, so let's see. And it's their Total Coverage Concealer and I got the shade 106. This is the packaging, super duper cute. I feel like you actually get a really good amount. It's about half an ounce. It's actually so similar, the applicator, to the new Huda Beauty concealers. So that's the shade 106. Again, it looks super light on my hands, but honestly guys, like, this is the shade that I would use. So I'm super excited about this. I mean, it felt good so far and it felt like it had good coverage. So we will see. The next thing I got from them, it's the second to last, is this quick change. Um, basically, it's just like the Veramona one, except like crazy better price. And I like the packaging better because it's all black. But what you use this for is that whenever you are applying eyeshadow, say you want to use that same shadow for another color or you want to use that same shadow to blend but it has so much pigment on it you rub it in this and this is just like a textured sponge that helps remove some of the shadow so that you can use another color without mixing or you can blend with that same brush without applying more color and you can kind of see what that looks like there it's got like a good texture the last thing I got from them is one of their new palettes and dude like BH come through your packaging like okay I was literally about to say I could throw this and it would not break but no no it would probably still break but they come in these cute bags now which I love it's like a ziploc bag and I thought it had like the bubble wrap in it and I was gonna have to take it out but no the bubble wrap is like part of the ziploc so that's super cool and actually I, I want to keep this I feel like this would even be like fantastic for traveling because I would feel so much better about putting my palettes in here and in my bag now so I got there <clears throat> not the, not the, I'm not gonna say that no I want to say it so bad I'm gonna say it so I got their new palette. It's the Ultimate Matte 42 Color Shadow Palette. I get nervous about ordering palettes like these. Ooh, it's in there tight. Um, that are all matte or all shimmer. It's kind of the reason I haven't gotten some other palettes before. Jesus, that's really in there. Come on, guys. There we go. But as you're going to see, it has like such a huge range of colors that that's why I wanted it. And before I show you the palette, I just wanted to quickly mention they have this really cute BH emblem right here and it's like frosted. Like, I don't know. I don't, mm, can you see it there? This is the palette. It has so many different colors. It already feels so buttery and creamy. These are some examples of the colors. Look how crazy pigmented and pretty that is. Let's try some more. I'm dying to see this dark green, this teal. Let's do mauve and ooh, this magenta. Look at that. Oh my God, and this teal. Oh, and this green is everything. One more round, y'all. Let's do one more round. Okay, let's do harder colors. White black um to lavender let's do this orange it's not a hard shade but let's just see that's it right there guys you saw me swatch it live i'm super blown away 
even the black alone is so crazy pigmented the white this lavender is so precious one more one more all right let's check out this yellow <gasps> Guys, it's like lemon yellow. Oh, I love it. This is so pretty, guys. This palette, I'm so in love. I cannot wait to use this. You already know I'm gonna come out with some crazy colorful shades. I actually have the Foil Eyes um, eyeshadow palette from them as well, which is all shimmers, and I needed something like this. As much as it's so colorful, that doesn't mean that it has to be a bright look. You can still use colors like magentas and purples and blues and make it soft enough and more wearable that it doesn't have to be so crazy vibrant, or you can. That's what I love about this palette is I feel like it gives me the option. It was so affordable. I don't remember the price right now, but I'm gonna link everything down below as usual. But honestly, no complaints. Okay, I like. My one complaint about this palette is that I know that this is in a plastic tray that's kind of like loosely attached because the edges, they like wobble a little. So that's the only thing that I'm kind of like, mm, everything else is so luxurious that I feel like that's a little cheap. But other than that, I mean, the shadows themselves are absolute perfection. But yeah, guys, that is all the stuff that I got from Black Friday. I'm not gonna lie. I think this has been my favorite Black Friday ever. And that's kind of it. I do have a new shade uh, in IO Beauty, so make sure to head over to Instagram, go to IO double underscore beauty, and you'll see my new shade. It's called Empress, so make sure to check that out. I'll definitely link it down below. I do plan on coming out with a video swatching all of my shades for you guys. I just have a couple things in the works that I want to figure out and finish first, and then I'll do that for you guys. All right, guys, so that is all. I'm so excited to try these products. Don't forget to give this video a really big thumbs up, especially if you really liked it. Share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe. So, all right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.